Howdy everybody, my name is Terry Person and welcome to Stardew Valley. Yeah, I can uh, keep that voice uh, or I'm in that fake uh, farmer's accent just isn't working for me. Anyway, I've been uh, looking forward uh, to play this game quite a while, but I wasn't uh, originally planning to start the let's play of this, but uh, then uh, I got a little bit of help uh, from a couple of my friends. Uh, thank you so much for them. Uh, and uh, now I can actually start playing this one. Now, I'll be quickly making my character here, and then I will cut back in. And welcome back. So, this uh, will be our farmer. Farmer Steady Prism. And I think I'll name uh, Farm Ravenwood. And uh, what's my favorite thing? Well, at the moment I think it's got, it's a uh, hmm. What is actually my favorite thing at the moment? I have uh, just uh, too many things I like to name here, but I think I'll uh, just uh, go put uh, here drawing. I love uh, drawing myself. And I'm a little bit of more of a cat person myself. Even though I like uh, dogs too, but I think I'll uh, go with cat, uh, cat as a pet. Uh, I think this is about the uh, pet choice. Anyway, what I know about this game uh, before I'm uh, uh, before I start accept this character, well, I know a little bit because uh, I had to do some uh, last-minute uh, video testing uh, before test the uh, recording of uh, this before actual starting. Uh, but before that, uh, only thing I knew about this game was that uh, this is. Uh, Kind of like a successor of, uh, uh, not successor, but quite similar, similar to Harvest Moon, and I have uh, played uh, Harvest Moon uh, that was released on uh, SNES way back in uh, time, so that's pretty much all the knowledge of the Harvest Moon series myself, and uh, I have uh, almost forgotten almost most of. Uh, that uh, game, but uh, it's kind of uh, like a uh, farming uh, plus uh, little bit of dating, I think. And uh, I played uh, this one uh, for about four in-game days uh, when I first uh, did uh, my test recording. So that's how far my knowledge of the game goes. Anyway, let's just start. And for my very special grandson. I want you to have this sealed envelope. it yet. Have patience. Now, listen close. There will come a day when you feel crushed by the burden of modern life. And your bright spirit will fade before a growing emptiness. Hmm. 
When that happens, my boy, you'll be ready for this gift. Now, let grandpa rest. I guess that's 20 years later. Yo, yo, join us, drive. Yeah, cubicle. Cubicle office. Not uh, very fun looking. I think uh, that the uh, hat guy is uh, Steve from Monkey Island Games. And life's better with jo Joya. Yeah, I'm not happy here. I would, I'll have to say this is kind of a nightmare work for me even uh, today. I wouldn't want to do something like this. Dear steady person, if you're reading this, you must be in dire need of a change. The same thing happened to me long ago. I lost sight of what mattered most in life, real connections with other people and nature. So I dropped everything and moved to the place I truly belong. I've enclosed the deed to the that place, my pride and joy, Ravenwood Warm. It's located in Stardew Valley on the southern coast. It's the perfect place to start your new life. This was my... my this was my most precious gift of all, and now it's yours. I know you'll honor the family name, my boy. Good luck. Love, Grandpa. P.S. If Louis is still alive, say hi to the old guy for me, will ya? Will do. I like how pixelated and uh, homemade uh, these backgrounds look. Stardew Valley, 0 0.5 miles. And a random bird. I'm Robin, the local carpenter. May Louis sent me here to fetch you and show you the way to your new home. He's there right now, tidying things up for your arrival. The farm's right over here, if you follow me. She looks uh, nice. Look at this place. Plenty of uh, cleaning up to do. This is Raven Food Farm. <laughs> kind of jikes. Uh... What's the matter? Sure, it's a bit overgrown, but there's some good soil underneath that mess. With a little dedication, you'll have it cleaned up in no time. And here we are, your new home. And I guess that must be Louis. Ah, oh, the new farmer. Welcome, I'm Louis, mayor of Pelican Town. You know, everyone's been asking about you. It's not every day that someone new moves in. It's quite a big deal. So, you're moving into your grandfather's old cottage. It's a good house, very rustic. Plastic. That's one way to put it. 
Krusty might be a little more apt all. How rude! <laughs> that still makes me laugh. Don't listen to her, steady person. She's just trying to make you dissatisfied so that you buy one of her house upgrades. Hmm. She's not happy at all about that. Anyway, you must be tired from the long journey. You should get some rest. Tomorrow you ought to explore the town a bit and introduce yourself. The townspeople would appreciate that. I'm sure they will. I'm sure they will. Oh, I almost forgot. If you have anything to sell, just place it in this box here. Sorry about that. I'll come by during the night to collect it. Well, good luck. <laughs> so, I think uh, first we need to clean up, clear up uh, a bit. Move and run. Although run has been uh, by default uh, put automatically on. Let's check journal introductions. Quite a lot of people to introduce myself. And you received 15 parsnip seeds. Here's a little something to get you started. Mayo Lewis. Nice of him. Is there anything on TV? What's on a weather report? Welcome to Go Ki Go O C C V Five. Your number one source for weather, news, and entertainment. And now the weather forecast for tomorrow. It's going to be a beautiful sunny day tomorrow. So perfect for farming. Alright, let's check this getting started. If you want to become a farmer, you have to start with the, the basics. Use your hoe to till the soil, then use seed packet on tilled soil and uh, soil to sow a crop. Water every day until the crop is ready for harvest. Go to bed and harvest the parsnip. Okay, and I think we need to clean up uh, little bit ground first so we can actually plant something here oh that was a frog there and I got some mixed seeds too and let's get rid of these rocks and then uh, let's get if let's get out of those Woods or logs or what do you might call them? Logs, I think. And that. And that too. There we go. Oh, right. I almost forgot. I'm going to se set up a few things on settings here. I'm going to get little bit more zoom, zoomed out view, view for us so we can actually see something here <coughs> there we go and now let's uh, put up first plot of uh, farmland that's five by five I think Or five uh, long. That should be enough uh, for parsnips, but then uh, we got that mixed seed too. I think I'm going to put the uh, small patch here for for them. Uh, 
Well, I didn't want those. Can you somehow remove these? I'll have to look up uh, at that uh, later on. There goes that mixed seed and then parsnips over here. We might even have a little bit of time uh, to go and meet up uh, villagers to after watering these. And I think I'm going to go and get some uh, more seeds to plant later on today. Well, here's our first field. And also, on my first recording, uh, I noticed that I ran out of uh, room in my inventory because at the moment it's only these uh, slots uh, below here. So, and uh, up, also there's uh, some crafting in this uh, game. Which I only discovered on the third day on my first playthrough. So, going to go and make uh, some uh, little bit of extra room for, um, for everything uh, I can find here. I need about uh, 50 of these locks uh, to make. Uh, chest for us for that purpose this one uh, should be enough There we go. It's all uh, already midday. So let's quickly make those uh, that chest. There we go. And we can store our stuff in here. That should be good enough place for now. We ma can move this later, I think. Let's drop everything else there. There we go. And now let's go and introduce ourselves to people. Oh. Let's not work to pick up these. Little bit of extra income on first day is always nice. And here's... who are you? Harvey. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm Harvey, the local doctor. I perform regular checkups and medical procedures for all the residents of Pelican Town. It's rewarding work. Okay. And uh, also we got a couple of uh, flowers to give out as uh, gifts. If we find anyone that we might fancy. But first we need to find those people. No one's up here. Maybe back in the town. town itself. Alright, I almost forgot this uh, general store. Oh, there's someone. Or two people. Hello? Caroline. Hello, you must be Stereoprism, the new farmer. I'm Caroline. My husband runs the general store here. And have you met my daughter, Abigail? She's the pale one with purple hair. No, I haven't met her yet. Oh, you aren't exactly how I imagined, but that's okay. I'm Jody. 
It's a quiet little town, so it's very exciting when someone new moves in. Having a farmer around could do really change things. And that's Vincent, I think. Yeah. Oh, a stranger. My name's Vincent. Mama says not to talk to strangers, but you seem okay. And I can talk to him more than that. Hello? Evelyn. Why? Hello and welcome to our little community, dear. You can call me Granny if you like. I'll try to keep that in mind. Let's check out Saloon. Or... No, we're... Quite low on time, so let's go and check out the general store first. I'm going to get some... Uh, seeds. Hmm. Let's get a couple of uh, bean starters. Three should be enough for now. Then uh, let's get some potato seeds too. Five of them. And... Hmm. Maybe I'll get uh, two tulips. I have no idea if uh, these are good uh, ones to grow, but let's try. Actually, I got uh, one uh, extra. Oh well. That should be enough. And now let's talk to... You. Hey, it's Mr. Steady Prism, the new farmer. I'm Pierre, owner of the local general store. If you're looking for seeds, my shop is the place to go. I also buy produce from you for a good price. That's good to know. And you... Oh, hello. It's nice to meet you. That must be... That was Lea. You picked a good time to move here. The spring is lovely. Can I talk to her more? No, but I can talk a little bit more to Pierre. A little agriculture could really inject new life into the local economy. Economy. Is there anyone behind here? I can't enter. I can't enter those. Uh, Bedrooms yet. I that I learned on uh, my test recording. I need to make some uh, extra friends or get uh, better friends uh, with people before I'm allowed to go. To Mr. Pierre, it pains me to be the bearer of the pa not. Ah, let me try that again. To Mr. Pierre, it pains me to be the bearer of bad news. But I feel obligated to inform you of a recent development most threatening to your livelihood. Joyako has decided to expand into Pelican Town. It's too late for protest. Joya builders have already broken ground for the new Joya Mart. This must be devastating news for you. So many years in business, a local standby, and now... Obscured by shadow of a powerful, efficient, economically viable corporation. What a shame. As manager of uh, the new Joya Mart, I feel to some degree personally responsible for your predicament. As such, I like to offer you position as assistant grocer. Base start at 5G an hour. I look forward to seeing you resume. Mr. Morris, manager, Pelican Town, Joya Mart. Yeah, I'm not liking him. All just based on that letter alone. Can we find anyone else? 4 p.m. Hello? Penny? Hi? Can I talk more? Oh, did you want something? Just wanting to know you. 
Oh hey, so you're the new guy, huh? Cool. And that's Alex. I'll see you around. Okay. And who was the, this? Hello? Oh, aren't you the new, the one who just moved in? That's Maru. I'm Maru. I've been looking forward to meeting you. Anyone else that I can meet? Anyone here? Doesn't look like it. And there's Louis. So, how was your first night in the old cottage? It was okay. Oh, I can mutter more. Your grandpa used to complain about the rickety old bed, but I think deep down he actually loved that house. And I haven't met you before, not even on my test recording. <coughs> ah, the new farmer we all been expecting, and whose arrival has sparked many a conversation. I'm Elliot. I live in the little cabin by the beach. It's a pleasure to meet you. Nice to meet you too. So I think uh, this is uh, the beach. Yes. Little bit of extra. And also, I think this makes uh, nice gifts uh, for people once we find someone. Hmm. I wonder what these are. I haven't been able to interact with them before on my test recording. No one in here. And no one there. Six p.m. I think a uh, saloon uh, might be our best place to check out uh, now. Oh, it's lively here. Hello. I don't know you. Why are you talking to me? Because I want to get to know you. Hey kid, the name's Bam. Okay. That's a just awful voice for her. Yeah, I'm... I'll uh, re refrain from uh, voice acting from now on. Only maybe for Louis and a couple others. Yeah, that's not much, much uh, refraining from voice acting or attempting to... Well, hello there. I'm Gus, chef and owner of Startup Star Drop Saloon. And uh, that's Emily. Ooh, I can read it on your face. You're going to love it here in Pelican Town. If you're ever looking for something to do in the evening, stop by the saloon. That's where I work. Well, where am I now? I'm at the saloon where you work. Hi there, Stripersum. I'm glad to see you. You're always welcome here. Good to know. Can I talk to him more? Apparently I can. Except that's the uh, same thing uh, he already said. Hey kid, I'd buy you a drink if I could afford it. Well, that's kind of nice of her. I better head back. It's starting to get quite late. Alright, I might as well check this out. Yeah, this is a calendar and Louis's birthday is coming up. Let's see. I think we might actually go and 
eat this uh, leak instead of selling it so we can uh, plant the rest of these before heading to bed. Yes. And I'll have to make 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 a war ground suitable for warming for those bean seeds. And I think I'll uh, just drop uh, pot these potatoes and tulips on uh, the same patch of land here and uh, worry about uh, growing them on uh, their own grounds a little bit later when I can actually have a little bit of more land cleared here. Ooh, that's nice. Uh, effect there of bird flying over us. I think I'm going to spend tomorrow doing a little bit of more introductions. Mm -hmm. Also, I forgot to give out those flowers as gifts. Oh well, too late now. Is... I wasn't going to move this. Uh, let's see. Living of the land. Welcome to Living of the land. We are back again with another tip for you all. Now listen up. This one is for all of your green horns out there. Chop wood and search for wild forage for to earn some gas while waiting for your first harvest. Sounds like a good tip. Ooh, much more cozy. So, I think so, this is a day for enough for today. Let's go to sleep. Oh, what's this? This didn't happen on my test recording. Some kind of fairy? Wait, what? Well, apparently I got something uh, grown completely already. So, two clams and three daffodils uh, sold for 190G. Okay. Hey there, I just wanted to thank you for staying around for a day helping at Raven Food Farm. I do hope your stay was enjoyable one. My name is Tiripusen and I do hope you come visit Stardew Valley and my farm again in future. See you next time.